Galileo is considered to be the inventor of the thermometer. As early as in 1597, he made a device somehow similar to a thermobariscope. Galileo took a glass ball, a tube was soldered to this ball. He heated the ball with the warmth of his hand and then dipped the tube into the water. The ball got colder and the water went up in the tube. This device reacted not only to all changes in temperature but also to all changes of pressure. It was both a barometer and a thermometer at the same time. This form of the Galilean thermoscope hadn't been changed until 1657. In this same year, Florentine scientists improved the thermobariscope a little. They added a scale made of beads and pumped the air from the bull. So the Galilean thermobariscope had only two temperatures, high and low, while the Florentines one had a lot of them, three and a half beads, five beads, etc. Thus thermobariscope became much more precise, and this new form had existed for another half a century. Around 1700s, the, Flor the Florentine thermobariscope was simply turned over, and both the tube and the bull were filled in with colored alcohol. While the container was thrown out as useless, it was a new dawn in science and technology, as the device no longer depended on the atmospheric pressure. The resulting device was actually a thermometer, so we can say that nowadays the thermometer was first made in 1700. Fahrenheit designed the modern form of the thermometer and described his method in 1723. He would also fill his tubes with alcohol first, but later started to use mercury. He marked three fixed points on the scale. The lower one, 32 Fahrenheit degrees, represents the ice point of salt solution, 96 degrees is the human body temperature, and the upper one, 212 Fahrenheit, is the water boiling temperature. The Fahrenheit thermometer was used in English-speaking countries till the 17th of the 20th century, and the United States still use these thermometers today. The Swedish physicist Celsius finally set both fixed points, the melting ice and the boiling water points. To avoid negative numbers when measuring low temperatures, he took the ice point of water as 100 degrees and the boiling point of water as 0 degrees. However, the upside down scale appeared to be more convenient. The temperature of melting ice was taken for 0 degrees Celsius and the boiling point for, of water for 100 degrees Celsius. This th thermometer has become widely spread. Celsius died in 1744 and the scale was turned over by astronomer. Since then, the melting point of ice was taken for 0 degrees and the boiling water point for 100 degrees. Degrees. Such a scale was adopted in 1948 by the International Conference on Weights and Measures. It's one we keep using nowadays.